what's the secret sauce behind Xpong's advanced driver assistance technology and what can we expect from the brand in the near future? Well, the man in charge of it, Dr. Sing Xiao Wu, is here to tell us, so let's get going right now. Welcome to Inside Xpong, the social media news series dedicated to exclusive news about the brand. I am here in the very first experience store in Netherlands. Don't forget to follow us on social media for more exciting news from the brand. If you watched our episode last week, I was in the middle of my conversation with Xpong's head of autonomous driving center, Dr. Zing Xiao Wu, and I have to admit, we got carried away talking about so many aspects of this fascinating topic, and we just couldn't fit it all in one video. So today we are airing the second part. We put a link to the first part in the description of this video in case if you missed it, but now let's jump back in. What is the, how do you test this technology, right? Do you just, you know, as some manufacturers kind of pick a, a bunch of people and say, okay, go and see what happens. We're going to see what the data comes back in. Some do it in, you know, matrix simulation, which is kind of cool. How do you, how do you test your technology to make sure that it's safe and you can move to the next level? That's a good question. And there's no easy answer to that. Uh, I have a huge team, uh, testing team, and also um, relevant, uh, relevant, I would say, engineers working on developing the testing infrastructure for the whole team. I'll just give you one example. For every line we check into our code repository right now, it have to pass 50,000 test cases. Essentially, these are real cases we get from the field. And it has to literally establish no regression in the sense no case get worse to be able to eligible to get into the code repository. So that's the fundamental guard we put uh, to make sure our uh, technology is progressing positively without causing major regression. That's very, very important. And number two, the final road test is also super important. Like for highway NGP, we tested a million uh, kilometers in China. Uh, you know, the uh, China basically highway has uh, roughly 300,000 basic kilometer, um, you know, the, to the whole uh, uh, Chinese highway system. So we cover the whole network three times, essentially, to make sure it, ha it, it has tested enough times uh, and it has no major flaws uh, anywhere, uh, you know, in the, uh, let's say, our ODD or driving domain that will allow the software to be released. And we're doing the same thing for, uh, for, uh, for, for, for city NGP as well. Um, in anyway, so in terms of testing, there's no, there's no shortcuts. It's all about dedication. You know, you have to obviously do a lot of simulations. Um, um, otherwise, you know, the whole team will be burned, right? And then you have to do an enormous amount of uh, real uh, vehicle testing as well. And speaking of uh, real world testing that you mentioned, you know, you have plenty of customers who have been using the highway and GP for over a year now. Now, what are they saying? Do they love it? Do they hate it? And most importantly, are you planning on making any improvements based on their feedback? That's a very good point. Actually, you know, uh, using our custom data to uh, improve our technology has always been the core of our testing strategy. I have built a team just for that purpose. Uh, their whole job is to look through the uh, every day's uh, basic feedback from our us customers and find the potential issues of the technology. That's very, very important for us. Interesting. Listening to feedback from your customers. You know, I should mention this to my cell phone provider. Uh, they, they can probably use something like that. Now, uh, <laughs> listen, Sinjo, let, let, let's dream for just one second before we go. Uh, tell us, what, what can we expect in the next few years from Xpong and when will be the day when you get into an Xpong vehicle and you don't see the steering wheel or the pedals? Well, I'm looking forward to that day as well. Um, but uh, in the short term, basically, uh, obviously the team is super busy with uh, releasing CDNGP uh, as of now. And then we'll roll out to uh, more cities. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, what excites me most right now is our next vehicle model, G9, uh, where we will have a major upgrade in our computing uh, platform. Um, right now, we're doing everything in a 30-top, basically, uh, device. 
uh, you know, uh, we are going to upgrade that uh, by a factor of probably 10 to be some, somewhere between 10 to 20 in G9. And uh, we are going to release the, uh, what do we call the uh, uh, full scenario NGP, where it will cover basically uh, from parking, um, you know, parking out, uh, going through all the roads and then uh, parking in. So for everything you do in your daily drive, I, I hope our next vehicle can do it all for you. Uh, with our technology. So this is the next major breakthrough I'm looking forward to. And after that, basically, uh, go back to your other question, I, I expect that our vehicle will get to a driverless capability uh, around the 2024, 2025 timeframe. And whether or not we're gonna remove the driving wheel, I don't know yet. There's another major effort we are gonna roll out uh, towards the end of this year, which is Robot Taxi which is really the test platform for us to eventually to be able to develop a fully driverless um, technology and the system. Axpong has been one of the very few uh, passenger vehicle manufacturers that has such advanced uh, self-driving features. Um, so wh what's the secret sauce? Why were you guys able to get this far ahead of most of the competition? Well, I think if you, I need to find one word for it, it has to be determination. So um, unlike other smart EV companies or unlike many, most other uh, basically our competitors, starting from day one, when uh, our founders founded this company, we believe autonomous driving have to be a key uh, element uh, uh, of the product. So uh, like in my team, uh, um, you know, I have employee number seven, employee number 10. They have been here for, let's say, seven years, starting almost from day one. So um, and after I joined the company, um, you know, we um, uh, that's uh, roughly four years ago. We have established a path to uh, starting from pretty much a, a parking only uh, capability to, uh, you know, highway NGP and city NGP pretty much four years ago, and we stick to the plan, all right, over the last four years. And it's all about execution, determination, and obviously there's many other factors. We attract many talents, and uh, you know, we are very well uh, recognized in Wall Street, so we have enough funding. Um, but uh, essentially, uh, but if I need to find one factor, it have to be the determination from our founders and from the whole company, from the board, uh, that basically um, carries us this far and this fast. Well, there you go. And of course, this is not the last time we're going to be talking about this very topic. As a matter of fact, in the next few weeks, we will show you exactly how the car drives under the city NGP on real city roads. So don't forget to follow us right here and stay tuned for more of this and other exciting news coming out of Xpong. For now, this is Alex Guberman reporting from Xpong's very first experience store in the Netherlands. See you next time and remember to stay charged.